Hello students and welcome to my channel MathSab. So today we'll talk about partial differential equation. So let us understand what these equations are all about, right? So if you have gone through my video series on ordinary differential equations, it would be easy for you to grasp this topic. So if you haven't seen, please visit that, right? And then visit partial differential equations. So basically differential equations are categorized into two types. One is ordinary differential equation and the second type is partial differential equation, right? So what is the difference between ordinary and partial differential equations? In ordinary differential equations, the differential equation is involving only one independent variable and the differential coefficient with respect to it. So you can see this example, dy by dx plus dy is equal to q. So here the differential coefficient is dy upon dx. So that means that y is the dependent variable depending on the independent variable that is x. So there is only one independent variable, right? Whereas what happens in partial differential equations? It is a differential equation involving two or more independent variables and the differential coefficients with respect to them. So here you can see that we have del square u by del x square and del square u by del y square. So u is dependent on two variables that is x and y. So u becomes the dependent variable and the independent variables are x and y. So there are two or more independent variables, right? So whenever we have one independent variable, the derivatives are represented as d, dy by dx. So they are total derivatives. And when there are two or more independent variables and we are having the derivatives, then we take the partial form of it because we are taking derivative with respect to one variable and the other variable is kept constant, right? So this video series will focus on partial differential equations, right? So first of all, let us go through the definition of partial differential equation. So in a differential equation, if there are two or more independent variables and the derivatives are partial derivatives in nature, then it is called a partial differential equation, right? So let us go through one example. So we can see that delta square z by delta x square whole square plus delta square z by delta y square whole cube is equal to x into y. So you can see that z is now dependent on two variables that is x and y. And you can also clearly see that z has two partial derivatives. One is delta square z by delta x square and the other one is delta square z by delta y square. So this will be termed as a PDE, right? Similarly, let us take another example. So here we have x delta z by delta x plus y delta z by delta y plus t into delta z by delta t is equal to x, y and t. So here you can see that we are taking the differential coefficients as delta z by delta x, delta z by delta y and delta z by delta t. So the variables, the independent variables are 3, x, y, and t. So this is again a partial differential equation, right? Okay. So once we are done with these partial differential equations, let us know some notations. So throughout this whole video, we will be going through the independent variables as x and y, and we will assume the dependent variable to be z. So what are the notations, standard notations that we are going to follow? Delta z by delta x will be termed as p. Delta z by delta y will be termed as q. Then these are the first two single first order derivatives. Then we have three second order derivatives. R will represent delta square z by delta x square. S will represent delta square z by delta x delta y. And t is not visible. So t is delta square z by delta y square. Right? So these are the five notations that we will follow throughout the entire video series, right? Okay. So now let us go through some of the applications of PD and why it is important, right? So one of the very basic and very important application of partial differential equation, which stand back since the 18th century, is the heat equation, right? So how to describe the conduction of heat in a solid body? So suppose we have a straight bar with uniform cross-section and homogeneous material. So we want to find a model for the heat flow through this bar. So here the role of partial differential equation comes into play, right? Then 
many of the equations that we have studied in mathematical physics like Laplace equation, Poisson equation, heat flow equation, wave equation, Helmholtz equation, Schrodinger wave equation, all these equations deal with partial difference. Right? So here you can see that a hell lot of things in physics deal with so now let us try to understand certain key terms about ED. So the first definition that we will study is the order of a partial differential equation. So how is the order defined? It is the order of the highest partial derivative occurring in the equation. Right. So this is the same definition that we did in OD also. So order is the highest derivative occurring in your equation. So here we will say that order is the highest partial derivative occurring in the equation. So in this equation, you can see that both the derivatives which are there in the equation are second order. So the order of this equation is 2. Similarly, in the second one, all the three derivatives, they are, the order is 1 because the highest derivative is 1. So the order is equal to 1, right? So I guess the definition of order is clear to everyone. Next, let us try to find out the degree of the partial differential equation. So what is the degree? It is the exponent of the highest order, right? So let's take this equation. So you can see that the order is 2. But the first one is carrying degree 2 and the second one is carrying exponent 3. So the highest exponent is 3. And hence, the degree of this differential equation becomes 3, right? Similarly, for the second equation also, you can see all the derivatives are having exponent 1. So, the degree of this differential equation is also equal to 0, right? Next, let us try to understand how to frame a partial differential equation. So, there are two methods by which we can frame a partial differential equation. The first method is by eliminating the arbitrary constants. And the second method is by eliminating the arbitrary function. So, let us see how these two techniques are applied. So, we'll do it one by one. So let us try to understand the first one, how to eliminate the arbitrary constant. So we are given an equation, x squared plus y squared plus z minus c whole square is equal to a squared. So you can see that this is the equation of a sphere where c is the arbitrary constant and a is the radius of the sphere. So a will definitely have certain value. So the arbitrary constant is c, right? Now, how to frame the partial differential equations? So let us try to mark this equation as 1. So let us differentiate this equation with respect to x. So we have assumed that z is a function depending on x and y. So when we are differentiating with respect to x, we will keep the other variable y as a constant. And hence the derivative with respect to a constant will become equal to 0. Right? So derivative of x squared will become 2x. Derivative of y squared, since y is a constant, so it is 0. So what is derivative of z minus c whole square? It will be 2 times z minus c into, using the chain rule, we'll have del z by del x. And on the right hand side, we'll get it equal to 0. Right? Okay. So let us try to simplify this expression. So we know that what is the notation for delta z by delta x? The notation was p. So we can write this equation as 2x plus 2 times z minus c into p is equal to 0. So if I transfer this term on the right hand side, I'll get 2x is equal to 2 times or I can say minus 2 times z minus c into p. So 2 gets cancelled from both sides, right? So the equation that we get is x is equal to minus of z minus c into p. Done. Now, similarly, we can also take the differentiation with respect to y. So, when we are taking the differentiation with respect to y, x will be kept as a constant. So, let's take the differentiation. So, derivative of x square will now become 0. Derivative of y square will become 2y. Derivative of z minus c whole square will become 2 times z minus c into delta z by delta y is equal to 0. Again, we know that the notation for delta z by delta y is q. So we can write this as 2y plus 2 times z minus c into q is equal to 0. So this implies y is equal to minus of z minus c into q. 
So we had this equation and we have this equation now. So how to eliminate the constant C? So the simple answer is that we can divide the two equations so that factor will get cancelled, minus sign will also get cancelled and we will get P by Q. And when we cross multiply, we get Qx minus Py is equal to 0, right? And this becomes the equation, the partial differential equation, right? So I hope this is very clear and you have understood also, right? So now, let us go to the next question. And the next question deals with how to eliminate the arbitrary functions from the given equation. So let us try to solve this equation. Form the partial differential equation from z is equal to f of x square minus y square. Now in this equation you can see that no longer arbitrary constant is not present. But we have an arbitrary function f. So how to eliminate this f? So the same process. We assume that z is a function depending on the two variables that is x and y. So let's take the derivative of z with respect to x. So we will get del z by del x is equal to derivative of f will become f dash x square minus y square and then using the chain rule the derivative of x square minus y square will become 2x. So this leads to p is equal to f dash x square minus y square multiplied by 2x. Right? Now similarly we can also take the derivative with respect to the variable y. So when we take the derivative with respect to y, we get delta z by delta y is equal to f dash x squared minus y squared multiplied by minus 2y now, right? And this lets, leads to q is equal to f dash x squared minus y squared multiplied by minus 2y. Now between these two equations, how to eliminate your function f? We can simply divide the two equations. So we get p by q is equal to 2x upon minus 2y. So 2 will also get cancelled and we will get minus x upon y. So when you cross multiply and take all the terms on one side, we get our partial differential equation as py plus qx is equal to 0. Right? So I hope you understood these questions. Right? So on the basis of them, try to do this question. Form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants z is equal to ax plus by plus a square plus b square. So you can see there are two constants now a and b. So you have to intelligently use the partial differentiation and eliminate both a and b from the equation. So do not check the answers. Do it on your own and then check the answers, right? One question of element, eliminating the arbitrary constants. And the second question is by eliminating the arbitrary function. So here you can see that we need to eliminate f from the equation z is equal to xy plus f of x squared plus y squared. So please try to do these questions and do let me know if there is any difficulty in the question. So we can discuss in the chat box, right, in the comment section. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much. So in the next video, I'll tell you about the Lagrange linear differential equation, right? So thank you for, uh, for checking the video. If you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Thank you so much.